Stand up and fight. This is it. Kenny Loggins again, same song. I had it on. I love it. Flora T at Dream Deals 123 on eBay and the Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube. I made $73 overnight. Let's break it down. Let's see how much is profit. I'm excited because the sweater I was wearing the other day sold for $30, $45, 38 plus seven shipping. I had it listed at $49.99. I also have a 20% off coupon going. Somebody liked it. And I figured, well, if they use it 20% off, it would be 30, uh, 49.99. It would be 39.99. So I think I sent them an offer for 38 and they took it. Cause I figured they probably saw the 20% off coupon. And even if they didn't, I mean, that's what I, I'm pricing this to, you know, I priced it, I think I'm probably priced it a little high knowing that it was gonna go right, that a 20% coupon would be eligible. I guess for stuff that you list, the new stuff, there must be a way to not add, not do a coupon like that. I don't know, I have to think of that because I like to have them at full price for a couple of weeks at least, just in case, uh, I have them under, you know, priced right. Try to price them right. So this is an Inhabit Lamb's Wool Cashmere Blend Boxy Pullover. I was modeling it the other day. Sweater, gray, large, oversized. If you were in the audience and you watched it and then you bought it, let me know. Uh, it's a name, I won't say the name, but um, I mean, I guess I would if you gave me permission. Anyways, gosh, I'm just rambling here. So. Uh, thirty-eight dollars plus seven shipping for forty-five. I played five. I'm going to make twenty-eight on this. I'm excited because I'm listing a lot of stuff now. Like I have three hundred and fourteen items listed now. I had about three hundred last week, um, and I went shopping yesterday and I bought a bunch of stuff, which we'll do a haul video at the end. But everything I'm listing has a very much higher average sales price than what I've been selling because all the stuff I've been selling has been on clearance. So like today, finally I got a good, decent sale there. 10 or 20 more of those a day and I'll be all set. This has been listed for five years. <laughs> it's new with tags. It's a Elliot Lauren red shimmer top, large holiday party, New Year's retails new for $124. I sold it for $10. They bought used the coupon in $6 shipping, 16. I paid three, so I made $6 on that. Glad it's gone. And this lovely Green, blue, yellow, paisley silk, long silk scarf, 50 inches by 10 inches, made in Korea. Paisley's a great pattern. Silk is really good for scarves. I probably wouldn't sell a scarf unless it was silk or wool or something like that, or like some kind of, yeah, cashmere or something like that. Just like with regular stuff. I don't sell much polyester unless it's a style or whatever. So anyways, this sold for seven dollars and five dollars shipping i paid two i made four on that so i made 73 gross and 38 net i've made thirty-three thousand six hundred and seventy-eight gross this year and sixteen thousand seven eighty-six. just keeping track here and telling you every day what i made um sales have been slow because we're moving had a couple of showings yesterday at least we thought it was couple on a couple of showings we <laughs> ah, it's tiring doing this. So we packed up, we had a showing from 3 to 3.30 and 3.30 to 4. And so that's nice because they were back and back, back to back, and we didn't have to like re unpack the cats and the dog and then repack. So we go out and then we keep driving back and it's like, they're still there, they're still there, they're still there. We were excited. We're like, man, they're staying a long time. Well, it wasn't them. It was the people across the street or have we're having a big veterans day party or something and they were parked there my daughter finally said are you sure those are the people 
And I was like, oh yeah, you're probably right. It's probably party people. So we sat in the car till like 4.15 or 4.30 or something, so an extra half hour. And it ended up, and the feedback we got was that they never even came. The feedback was, we didn't see this house. <laughs> and the one before it who came said that they loved it, beautiful, beautiful, but it wasn't for them. So, uh, yeah, my, I, my wish for realtors is if you're not coming, let the person know. And then I wish every single one of them, some of them do, they let you know when they left. And that's really nice. Um, I wish they would all do that. Anyways, if I were a realtor, that's what I would do. <coughs> because it's uh, it's tiring, especially when you have cats or little kids or something like that. Um, okay, let's do one thing. I hate it when this happens. When you... Uh, buy something, list it, take the photos, and then as you're taking the very last photo, you see this. Here, it's just totally worn out. Oh, my nails are not looking too good. Um, yeah, that's not like a button that's worn out. And then this one, too. So, it's really a great little nightgown. It's a L.L. Bean, and I was excited. I love these L.L. Bean plaid flannel nightgowns. They sell like crazy. They've got a great sell-through rate. Um, and I was probably going to list this for about 30 plus shipping. I think I'm going to just return it though, because I'm trying not to sell stuff that's damaged. And that's, I mean, it's got a lot of life in it. I don't know. What do you guys think? When I have the listing up, I think I could just, and I have most of the photos and I paid not too much for it so maybe i will go ahead and list it yeah and just instead of 30 maybe start it at 20. that's a pretty good price somebody might want it they might say i don't care about that little thing there all right i think i will list it. i talked myself into it but this one i don't think i will because it's just a little too I don't have it all listed. I found this one before I started taking pictures. See right here, it's all kind of worn. You can't really hide that. And this is, you know, like the nightgown you're just wearing in bed or, you know, during the day when you're eating ice cream and stuff. Uh, here's, it's a Talbot's 3X though, and it would have been good. Nice little pullover shirt with a contrasting style of 3X. Uh, what did I pay for it? Paid like five for it. So yeah, I'm just going to be pretty strict on returning things now because of our uh, storage that we're going to have so little storage. All right. So let's do a little, uh, I'm thinking I'll do, I'll look stuff up and try to talk about sell-through rate again. We're at eight minutes. We'll just do a couple of these. How about, uh, I'll show you some of the stuff I got yesterday. This is a Urban Outfitters. This was 50% off day at, at uh, Second Avenue. So I got this for $6. It was 12. I don't like to be 12 and it's like a, Really nice wrap dress, and it's a size, it's a size medium, but boy, does it look like it would probably fit a large. Um, it's got pockets, and it's this very nice mustard yellow, and this is a very kind of cottagey country style and look. Yeah, I mean, I just think this is great. So let's see if, yeah, I even put it on here, it's a, and it's a linen br blend. Urban Outfitters Women's. Outfitters. Women's. Linen. Blend. Wrap. Skirt. Okay. I have it in my draft. So I think sometimes if I'm at the thrift store and I'm doing sell through rate and I find like the exact thing, I'll just do sell one like this right away to put it over in my draft so that I have it there. Okay, 
wrap skirt. Why did I put skirt? It's not a skirt. I'm looking at it. Why are skirts coming up? I'm getting all angry. Okay. Um, there's one for 40 with $6 shipping. 10 watchers. That one's medium. So that would be the, maybe that's the one I saved. Um, here's another one, $24 starting bid on auction, $8. When people put stuff on auctions, if they've done the research, they're probably doing it because they know it's a, a good dress. Okay, now that's, so there's like two listed that are the exact one. They say, when you're doing sell through, when I put that in, they say, 130. Well, let's see if we can narrow it down a little bit. Uh, yellow. That's pretty good. Yellow. Okay. That, that did. And then one here says Gabriel for a black one. So maybe it's called Gabriel. Oh, yes, it is. The other one has here too. So as soon as I find the name that makes things easier and i'm going to take out now that did pretty good that narrowed it down 32 a lot of them are sleeveless so what i'm going to do is go to advanced i know i'm maybe i'm maybe doing this i'm just trying to let me show you. I'm going to go to put sleeveless in the uh, excluded words and see if that gets out this, all the sleeveless. Well, now nothing comes. That's so weird because it's like they take the word sleeve. All right, let's put the word less. Even though it's made sleeveless one word, uh, they took, like, there's nothing here out of 32, and they weren't all sleeveless. This is why sell through is difficult. And even with less, there's nothing there. Why? So I don't like using that very much. Okay, I'm just going to kind of count them up here. And I didn't even put in the size, which is medium. Well, there's that one medium. And there's a couple of different colored ones. So let's count those. Let's take yellow out and see how many come up of these Gabriel dresses. 50. All right. And used are 36. I'm just going to even do this just with the... And then I'll glance at it to get it. So 36 used and nine sold. And one, two, three, four... There several couple of them are that yellow dress. So just going down here, these ones sell. So and there one so this one sold for 47. A small for plus seven dollars. So I'm gonna list this for I think about 47, 49. This one's this is a medium for 39, so I gotta beat that. But I do have my 20% off coupon. So maybe I'll do 44 or 48, and then with the coupon, it will be that. I'm not gonna do the thing here, but you get my my see what I'm doing here, right? I'm I'm gonna put the price in here so I don't forget. I'm gonna start it at an eight about 40. Seven ninety nine. It's a good save for later. All right, let's do one more. Can we find the sell through? All right, here. Oh, let me talk about this one. This was probably my favorite, and I didn't look up the sell through. So let's. Hopefully, I used my experience and stuff. But look at this. This was me just walking. I do a periphery kind of walk through certain places like the sweaters. I like to walk the men's and women's sweaters and see if I see any fisherman sweaters and look what I saw. This is exactly what people want. It's um, new with tags, 100% merino wool, size 
large men's made in Ireland hand wash pure wool new with tags from Marshall's I will probably cut this Marshall's tag off I'm just gonna do it now there that's gone just because you know I mean hey we're marketing right we're marketing this um so I didn't search for it because I just picked it up and paid $4.50. And I'm just amazed that if there were resellers there that somebody didn't see that. Let's see if I did good for $4.50. Callan Country Collection. Okay, let's have a game. Put in the comments below what you think I'm going to list this for, or what you would list it for off the top of your head. Let's see who gets the closest to what I listed. <sighs> Sweat Fisherman's. Probably knowing me, you guys will put like $3. Your price is too low. <laughs> Okay. All right. There are, I didn't put the size in, 28 Kellan listed, and I'm just looking here, 23, 49, 39. I hope you put your, let me put the word, and let's see. Okay, that's listed, sold, 26. So very good sell through, right? 28 listed, 26 sold. You can't ask for better than that. Now, let's put Ecru, because that's the name on here. Oh, and I put, this is new with tags, so that's really nice. Okay, uh, 29, and let me put wool. And I'm going to take out Ecru and put merino wool. They're probably all merino wool. 26 of them are. Okay, I'm going to put in uh, mock neck. I see the exact same one here, 35 and $11 shipping. That's pre-owned. And I think most of these are pre-owned. Well, are, yeah. Well, let's see new. There's three new. Let's see what the sell through is. None, one, exactly. Well, no, this is the other one's a crew neck for 80 new one for 80 crew neck I think my neck is better my mock neck beats your crew neck all right none new men sold so that means i want to price this one let me see what people are pricing the new at uh 42 starting bid 40 40 plus shipping plus shipping 30 80 so and this one's an extra large that's on sale there I'm going to find the ones that are not new, now the used, and I'm looking at those, seeing if there's anything exactly like this. There's one in a little different color for 30, this is used for 32 and 11, I'm just going to tell you the total, for 50, what size was that one? That one's medium. This was large, right? So medium, there are some sort of like it, 50, no, 64, 35. There's a lot of crew necks, 60, 70. And these are all pre-owned. Let me go see what the solds were are averaging out at. I don't know if I put men's in there. I should put men's. There was a lot of women's. Men's. 21. Sold. 24 listed. So most of them are, are men's. Okay, so sold averages. 
boring for you guys. Just a little chatty work with me. Um, yeah. These are all pre-owned mostly. 20 plus 8, 34 plus 10, 64 but took a best offer, plus 6, 59 but took a best offer. So maybe I put it at about, I think I'm going to go $49.99 plus $9.99 shipping. Anybody close? Because I'll probably have that 20% off coupon. So that puts it down to $39.99. And then in two weeks or two months, I'll add a best offer. And people will watch it. And I'll probably send out a little, you know, like a 21% off offer. In the beginning, I don't accept, you know, like I'm not going to accept some lowball offer on this. All right, this says women's. Okay, so I don't want that. Men's. This one looks pretty close to it. Um, all right, but I'm not going to. Um, and what was this? This was going, this was at Marshall's, and they had it on for, looks like $29.99. So uh, it didn't sell at Marshall's for that. But we will see. We got a lot bigger um, audience when you put stuff on eBay, I think. Okay, so I'm going to sell this now. Put forty nine ninety nine because it's new. I mean, I might even go fifty. I'm going to stick to forty nine ninety nine because somebody who might have guessed that was all happy that they got close to me, and now I, I'm not going to change it. Okay, and I will save that for later. All right, we've gone 22 minutes. Um, about it. Uh, I might do another one of these though, because I've got some really good stuff that I want to share with you, but I don't want to like wait till the next day. So I might just do another one here. I'll see you in the next one.